Hello my friends, um, I might get a bit shaky on this video like with my hands right because um, it's when I watch it it brings back awful memories and awful um, awful feelings you know from my mistreatment and the corruption involved that's been going on with South Yorkshire Police and myself and councils and you know um, uh, and dodgy street wardens and security and everything uh, I went to any, went to the Doncaster A and E to get treatment, um, and they refused to help me. They've completely blank out straight, refused to help me, and uh, had police uh, assist them in their crimes, basically, which is exactly what it was—a crime. So I'm sending this video out because I can't download it from Google, so I'm gonna have to play it. I've come to my friend's house to borrow his device to film to to go live stream with this video that's on my Google photo that's on Google Photos because the Google Photos won't allow me to download it because it is damning on what's been going on with me. Um so I'm gonna I'm gonna play it now. I'm gonna play it now so uh stay tuned please let's see see uh I, I wanna wait to just get a few views in. Let's just wait for a second. So um, if you wait in Thanks for your patience, Matt LeBron. There's no viewers, mate. Well, I'm gonna just play it anyway. I'm gonna play it anyway. All right. Thanks for watching. I need people to see this. This is this is true evidence of pure mistreatment and malfeasance and um, and, and crimes towards myself. So please watch. Stay tuned. Please be patient and please comment and let people. Please be patient. Um, if you could comment, because this is a device I'm not used to using, so I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm, how to comment. So, oh yeah. I'll, there, there, there. So, please be patient. Thank you guys for being, for watching, thank you. Thank you. Like I just said at the beginning of the video, this this film video I'm going to put on really upsets me and gets me anxiety really high up. And uh, it brings back awful memories, so... Thanks for your patience. Thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm putting it on now. Okay, bye. I'm, I'm, I hope you can hear every word it says. Hope you can hear it, my friends. If you could just let me know if you can hear my friends, please. It would be highly appreciated. Um, this is naughty. What happened to me? Very naughty. And I just want to. Um, uh, I just want to emphasise. This is not on Mr. Philip Anthony Hartley's medical history. So in the legal world, it never happened. But in reality, it did happen. And I've got proof here. So please be patient and thank you for watching. It's an 11 minute video. If you haven't got time, come back and watch it in a minute. Here we go. It's now two and a half hours into it. I am exempt. I will conditionally wear a visor, provided you can show me the proof of claim on the government website that says by law I must wear a visor to receive NHS medical treatment. This is disgusting. It's disgusting, man. I'm still here bleeding. I'm still here bleeding. You won't, you won't treat me. I told you I'm prov I'll wear one, provided you can show me or oh, get me the manager's name. One or two, mate. Oh, get your manager's name. You can yeah. make a complaint and whoever's on duty, they'll be able Disgusting, to it. absolutely so, disgusting, that, that's mate. That's how you deal with that. If you absolutely disgusting, mate. They're refusing your treatment. They're asking you... They're, they're asking coercing you. me. They're it's coercing me. Well, I'm not going to keep arguing. We're it's coercing, mate. It's coercing, like me. It's coercing me. It's coercing me. Show me the law, then. Show me the law, because you're, you're from South Yorkshire Police Officers, yeah? Show me the law where it's... So show me where the... Show me in that what regulation of the 2020 Corona Act states I must wear a visor to get treatment from an hospital. You wear a mask in public tell me, show me, tell me, tell me where it is. Tell me where it is, please. Which regulation? What regulation? Which regulation? Because you don't know. Because you don't know. Because you don't know, and you can't tell me. You, you literally don't know. What are you I'm doing sorry if I get shaky, guys. I'm and you're trying to coerce me to wear a. How can I wear a visor when I've got a, cr a slice at the back of my head? You want me to put some? on me head what what you want me to put a visor on back of my head how can i put something on that tell me tell me 
Just tell me, because I don't know. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm getting upset now. Oh, you are. I'm getting really upset because let's you are taking down. the piss. Let's, let's calm it down, yeah? I'm, I've got a massive cut on the back of my head and you want me to put a fucking visor on it? Let's move on from that. What happened really today from you? Bro, so we're now, so now we're, so now we're into, so now, so what are we doing now? Are we having a police interview or am I here for treatment? Not a police interview, is it? Right, so surely this will be done on paperwork and proper rain down. So let's arrange to do that, mate, rather than stood outside the police where I'm already irate and upset and, right. and, and my, my anxiety is shooting up here. These guys know this. This is a direct attack on me, guys. They are gutted that I, I'm slowing that begging scam down. They go, they want you, they want you nan, they want ladies like this walking around town handing money over to um, heroin addicts and spice addicts and crackheads so they can keep using their prison officer scam, they can keep using their housing association scam and keep it going and refusing good honest people with love in their heart who just want you to do well treatment. So they allow smackheads and drug dealers to bang people over heads with belly bottles and and and, and wine balls and crack bread and then they're forcing me to wear a, ma a, a visor over this coat and I don't understand it. Well, how can I put a coat? How can I put a visor over this coat? How can I do that? I mean, look at it. Look at the state of it. Just look at it. Look at it. I'll ask that question for you. In regards to the visor, it's a bungee strap. It's a bungee the, strap, no, it's a bungee strap. The rear of your head here, so you I don't want any anything on my head because I've got an head injury. I don't want anything on me and I don't have to. And there is no law, there's no law that states I have to. You guys are making up rules in your head so you can treat me. Man, guy is kicking in solid, guys. Give me treatment. All I'm asking for, right, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it now? The exact time. At Doncaster A&E, DRI, the manager, whoever's on, is the date is the 11th of March, 11th of March. So this is the this. So we need to, we will find out who this manager is because they are directly liable for using these good people to bully people about and ringing these people. And these people should be locking up nonces, paedophiles, wrongers, murderers, and rapists. Instead, they're here stopping a man of the god getting his treatment. This is it, man. And this is what's happening. It's not, I'm not making it up. I'm not fucking Tim Foyle, that man. I'm here, stood outside the Doncaster Emergency Department, being refused help and service, unless I wear a mask or a visor over my coat. And I'm exempt. I told them I am exempt. What's your plan, then? Because obviously you know... I've got to go to my doctor. Team. I need to get this manager's name, and I've got doctors. Yeah, I'm not going to give you the full name of the manager. Well, then, I've just, I've just stated the time and date that I'm here. Yeah. Right, so I will find it. The 12th of March. The 12th of March, then. Sorry, mate. I'm a, I'm a bit, I've had an head injury, mate. Right, I've been so smacked up every a bottle, you, you know, by one of your dealers. You can make a complaint. Well, by one of your dealers, them, mate. What? Well, you have to. You've got no choice to. You've got to, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. So you're saying we've not done anything. They never pressed any charges. Did so this never happened on. This is not on medical history of Mr. Philip Anthony Hartley. So in the legal world, this never happened. I was never there, apparently. The, the fiction was never there. I was never there performing in person. I am exempt. What is the point of having an exempt card if, it, if there's no point? I've got him. I've just told me my doctor exempts me, yeah? And the government, I've just read it to you. The website is a government download, my friend. What is your problem with it? What is your problem? What is your problem? Are you broken or something? Right, like, right. It's a government website, the exemption card, right? So I downloaded it because the doctor told me to. So I've got it on my phone as a screensaver. I've shown you it. And you're arguing the toss with it. And you're telling me I'm not going to be refused. So I'm stood here covered in blood. I'm really at risk of fainting probably. Really at risk of being ill. I could have an infection. But you're still you're busy, busy, busy arguing the toss over a visor. Well, yeah. Telling me you're no not going to get, you're not gonna get sorry, treatment I'm unless you wear a visor. And I've told you, I'm willing to wear the visor provided you can show me where in the law it says I have to. And I'm, that's not, I'm not arguing. So how is that? So show me which regulation then. Show you how. Well, I'll Google it. Just tell me. Just tell me the Google. You're a cop. You're a copper. You're a policeman. Right, you're a policeman. No, you're stood there trying to enforce a regulation or, or an act on me, but you don't even know what you're enforcing. I'm not enforcing. I'm not finding you. You can't force it, can you? Because you don't even know what you're trying to enforce. Please, you can do me a favour. I need, to, I need the name of this. I need the name. I need the name. All I've come for treatment, bro. I've come for some treatment, bro. I've been booked in on that. Yeah, so I'm waiting, so what, what am I doing? Well, unless you don't wear a mask, you're not going to get seen. I've told you, I'm willing to wear a mask, provided you give me the name of the manager. 
So, so you call, you, 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 you're breaking the law. You, 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 are, you are demons. You're demons. This is what happened there. Because I'm, because I'm against, because I'm against spice, man. Simple as. That's all it's about. <laughs> well, he's gonna do a rest of it. Exactly, I don't know, he's, he's had arrested me for nothing before. This is before attack, I went and sent the prison, me. guys. You attack me. All I've known from South Yorkshire Police is bullying, harassment. This is you've before the fabricated charges. You've never followed it through. You've never approached any of the witnesses. You've never arrested anybody. You've arrested these two guys, apparently, because you can't, what can you do? You never, no time, they never, no, they never did anything. Place. They've With hidden this witnesses. happening. So there's nothing you can do. Remember that it didn't happen. All you're, doing, cause you've got, all you're doing now is trying to squeeze that little bit out. He's refusing me my treatment. Right, well, we're not refusing treatment, are we? We're here to No, you're, you're not upholding the law. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just saying to you, my friend, God bless you, God bless you, but I am willing to do what they say, provided they can show me the law. And you can't even tell me the regulation under the Corona Act it is. I'm bleeding from Eden, what man? I stood there bleeding the and they're talking shit about my ass. They're saying the piece of paperwork you just shown me is not legitimate paperwork. That's not legitimate. It's not. It's not a, a, a legislation. It's a rule here, and and I, and I shouldn't have to adhere to these rules just to get treatment from someone we pay tax to. Right. It's not fair, mate. Thanks, it's not fair, mate. It's not fair. So you say again, this whole, the fact is, there's a man here covered in claret, yeah, with a cut on his head, and you just, you're just saying no. You're saying no unless you adhere to the blag, to the mainstream blag. True story. I've been all over the country, mate. To wear that visor would make me an absolute idiot. Because of what I've witnessed. I found people dying. I found people dying. Yeah, I found people dying, but of addiction. I found people dying on the street, under your CCTV cameras, but of addiction. Not not on all the coronavirus, not coughing and spluring, of addiction. And they're, but they're left every day. Through this entire lockdown, people have been sat on our streets, the same heads, the same faces. But you're more bothered about me. You're more bothered about causing me animosity, and causing me stress and heartache and anger, you know? Refusing this me treatment. my anxiety up, guys, no, sorry. Refusing me treatment. I'm still here, I'm still, how long has this video been going on? Let's just, I'm just recording now until they give me treatment. Because we'll see how long I've been here since, since like, about 12, about quarter to 11, quarter to 12. About 20 to 12 I got here. Three hours it was before now the treatment. I've had to walk on, come back. Three. You had to do it, I mean, freeze. All I'm asking is if they show, honestly, if they show me the legislation Lord. that says you must wear a visor when you come to hospital, and get treatment, I'll wear it. I'm not being awkward. I'm just, I'll be an absolute fool. I see people dying of real addiction. I see people really dying on the streets every day. I'd be an absolute numpty and I'd be an accomplice to all the elderly deaths and I'm not doing right. that. I'm not doing that, mate. I'm not an accomplice to any elderly deaths the in this world. I'm not an accomplice to this absolute deception upon the masses. I know more people died of cancer. I know more people that's killed themselves. I know army lads that have topped themselves. I know more people that lost the business. I know more people that are struggling to feed their children today. But these people, instead of going after people like Mark Feely, they'll pay their hotel rooms. In prison, they're just defending and looking after paedophiles. I love the, witnessed it. Majesty's paedophile protection unit. Revenue collectors, that's all they're doing. They want to conduct commerce with people's legal name. And they hate what I speak about because it goes right against the their legal name, name, not people's. The. You know? So I'm studying there. now, I'm studying now, just waiting to try and get, I've, I, I need stitches, I'm guessing I need stitches, I'm guessing, I don't know, I don't know, you know, because I'm, I'm not a medical expert, I just know that I've come here to get some medical assistance, and I'm being refused it, look, someone's dropped their immune system, <laughs> yeah, someone's dropped their immune system, bruv, you might want to get in there and see if, uh, you know, someone's dropped their immune system on the floor. Some people pick that up. It's just bollocks, isn't it, guys? Yeah. <sighs> Fucking joke, this, mate. Absolute joke. Refusing to serve... Refusing to give me service. And then when I'm asking them to show me where in the law it states I've got to wear this... Bike, they want me to wear a visor with this cut on my head. They still have not served me. I don't know how long I've been studying, but the longer I'm studying, I'm not in town, so the longer the begging and scam can go on for these dogs. Shouldn't call Simon. them dogs. Shouldn't call them dogs. It's now two and a half hours. That's it, man. I am exempt. That's I'm a horrible video, man. That video gets me so, like, it just, it gets my 
gets my f anxiety so up here, mate. Honestly, it's an horrible video. Some of the things that I've been through, just just for seeing the truth of what's gone off in in this local town, it it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? And it's at the hands of people that think because they've got a criminal record, they're not criminal, and they are. I mean, the whole I threaten. I threatened the legal society, the very fabric of the legal society with the truth, with, with the truth, with the truth of what you are and what I am. You and me were naturally born children of the Lord Almighty. You don't have to switch off there, yeah? We are naturally born and we are tricked to perform an act in person as some legal corporate ranked fiction so Business can be made in this litigious society, and it's shocking what the, what what we're being scammed into. We're being scammed into incorp acts of incorporation, and it's it, it fucking gets me down. I might be smiling a lot. I might you might see happy videos and that, but there's just a big front all of it. Do you know what I mean? Because I live in, I can see through the veil, my friends, and I and I, and I, and. I, and I, I will, I worry so much for my brothers and sisters because I can see where we're heading. The time is coming. So I, I just, all I can say is please repent and turn. Especially people knowing what you're doing. You celebrities and that, they've sold your souls out and that. You need to watch out. Like earlier on, 702 PCYT, who smashed in, come smashed in my friend's front door without, with, with, with no, no warrant at all. I seen him in Sheffield today and he was, Mr. Hartley, I just said, Philip, unincorporated. You are, I haven't, I have not consented to be speaking for a, for a corporate name. And, and he, he started laughing and he says, ah, oh, you were, were you in prison for? I says, it's nothing compared to where you're going, my friend. And I just walked away humming Spice Girl songs in my head. <laughs> so, but yeah. It, 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 they came, uh, put me in prison for 10 months, my friends, over a Facebook post that fabricated charges about racism and they, they tried the, they tried the best to frame me with £30,000 worth of fraud for cancer research just because half a lifetime ago, when I was a drug addict, I, I kept a few quid for sponsorship money, which I should never have done, you know, and I paid my, I paid my time, I did, I done my, I done my sentence, I served my time for it, you know, I was a stupid idiot, child, boy child, you know what I mean? And today I'm a man, I'm a man. <laughs> and I put all my skills into good use. So, anyway, I've got to go because I'm on my friend's device and I don't want them to upset me. How does, I can't see because it's me, me, me put, I'm trying to read your comments, but they fly all over the place when I try. Um, yeah, every time I scroll down, it scrolls back to the top. It's it's a bit weird every single time. I'm trying to read your comments. Uh, I'll have to read them and reply to them um, on on the replies in the comments, my friends. Cause you know and another thing with my technology. Anytime I try and upload a fitness video, anytime I try and upload truth, obviously you got these people rely on your um, ignorance, yeah, uh, and you don't even know you're being ignorant. It's, it's the king of lies, the king of lies, the great deceiver is amongst us. He walks amongst us. Be wary. Peace.